are a proud sponsor of KNY 91.1 FM. The views expressed do not necessarily reflect those of KNY 91.1 FM and its affiliates. Good morning, good morning, and God bless you. We are having a terrific Tuesday right here at KNLY 91.1, the boss on today's entrepreneur. I'm your host, Orlando Daniels, and with me on this morning, I'm excited to share and introduce um, the big agency of Liberty National, uh, Mr. Scott Bergmeier. Yep. Bergmeier. Listen, I, I, I always get the guest that has the, the hard last name to pronounce. And then I also have Mr. Isaac Trey Williams, uh, a wonderful gen gentleman that I actually met um, in a group that I'm connected with called Biz Connect, um, the founders and organizers of this actual um, group that, that you want to be a part of is actually um, Christian Waldo and Nick Mitchell of BWI Marketing. And they introduced me to Trey um, by way of Facebook, our actual group that we're a part of. Um, but one of the things that I admire in trying to pronounce um, Scott's last name, he says, just call me big. And I said, I'm not calling you big, man. I'm not calling you big. <laughs> Almost got but, it. But here's the thing. that that The reason I, I wanted to make mention of that is because everything that he says that this, this company does is big. That's their whole viewpoint is that they do everything on a big and boss level. So let, let me allow the, the, the CEO, the head man in charge, uh, share a little bit about the vision, the overall mission of Big Agency. Thanks, Orlando. I just want to say I appreciate you having us on. So yeah, um, our office, we do think big, we're definitely big thinkers, and I'd say overall the mission is to help people, and we're able to do that in a few different ways. Um, we help with insurance products for one, that's a really big deal. Uh, we can make a difference in people's families, uh, in, in their lives, and what we do, and it's a, a little difficult sometimes because you don't see that in the day to day, but when someone has to make a claim, we help out with that. And we really see what a difference that makes. But one of the biggest things, and I was kind of sharing my story, and if you don't mind, I'd like to, yes, to do please. that, is how we help people with their careers. So um, about four years ago, I was kind of in a rut. I've been in the construction landscape industry most of my life and, um, you know, lifting heavy things. And I kind of job, job to job, and I really couldn't find my footing. And so I ended up working for a company, two men in a truck, moving furniture. And so... I was 35 years old, making about 12 bucks an hour, and I just knew there was something better to, to life than that. I didn't really have a future. and So my wife got connected with uh, Liberty National, and she talked to the agency owner there. It was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And he gave me a shot to come in and, and work. And so uh, with no plan B, nowhere else to go, I worked as hard as I could. In three years, I was able to move to the agency owner position. and. Um, now that I'm in that spot, I'm able to help a lot of other people. And so a little bit about our office, our office culture is that we don't hire leaders, we create them. And so throughout the time in Liberty National and through this office, I've been able to help a lot of people with their career and get them out of the spot that they're in and let them know that there's something more. Because I've been there. I've been stuck where... You think this is it in a negative environment that just tells you learned helplessness that it ain't going to get any better. And so what what we've done, Trey and I, have worked really hard to create a magnetic environment that can attract people to bring out their best and do better and to think bigger because it's a tough thing to do. Uh, a lot of people have wishful thinking that they want a million dollars, they want to be successful, but they don't truly believe that, and they're, it's hard for them to think big. And so that's, that's, that's a lot of our mission. And I'll just tell you this, it, it gives us great opportunity to help people with their insurance products, help people with their careers, but also give back to the community. Because one other thing about myself is uh, not making a lot of money. I was in a scarcity mentality. I felt that there just wasn't enough to go around. And so I know there's a lot of people out there that want to give and and. and give more but it's, it's hard to pour from an empty cup and so we have a great opportunity to give back to the community and, we, and uh, you know uh, puts us in a great position for that. Trey what made you become a part and, 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 and not only become a part of BIG but allow Scott to mentor you mm -hmm. to the degree that you're now in a position to do the same for others? Sure. 
Yeah, I mean, it's a very similar situation. Um, worked for a great company, the YMCA of Greater Houston. They gave me 15 amazing years, and it was a situation where it was it was time to make a different different move, different change. Um, so at that time, I was out looking, but I had that situation of what do I do next? I've been stuck in a situation. I've been put in a situation for 15 years, and now what is the next step? Where do I go? And that was presented to me by Scott with the opportunity of the big agency. And through that opportunity, he was like, you know what? I'm not gonna sit there and tell you what your path is. I'm going to lay a foundation for you and you create your own path. I'm gonna be here to support you. I'm gonna give you every tool that I have, but I'm gonna be right there by your side to help you not only succeed and provide for your family, but for also being able to continue doing what I love as being a servant leader and being able to take my resources that I am able to have at my hands and be able to give somebody else another opportunity that Scott gave me and also be able to go out in the community and make a difference because that was growing up the biggest thing that I was taught is that we're put on this earth to be a servant leader and to help others and make their lives better. It's not about us. You know, I I, I shared this morning in our focus group meeting that we all possess, possess a DNA um, by which, not the DNA in reference to our parents, um, but DNA in relations to what we're called to be and to do, where our, our rim of influence is. Um, and I, I made mention to Scott when we were in the back uh, preparing to come on um, that he's in his grace. And, and what I've learned throughout my years of trudging trial and error, um, there's a grace that accompanies every assignment and, 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 and there are times that we don't move in the area by which we were actually graced or called or anointed and gifted or talented in. And if you remain somewhere where the life isn't, though you are there, you're, you're existing, yep. but you're not functioning yep. in, the, in your full capability or capacity, that you're actually just spinning your wheels. Um, here's something I want to throw out real quick is your success is tied to your daily routine and those that you surround yourself with. Putting yourself in a position to connect with Scott, um, being open, because when we get you know to a certain age, um, we have the tendency to um, allow pride and ego mm -hmm. and all kinds of things to get in the way. And it says a lot about you, Trey, that you're willing to not only allow Scott to come alongside and aid you in an area that you were unfamiliar. Scott said something that was so profound, I want to give him a chance to mention it, that the two of you just chose to take a walk in the dark. Yeah, yeah, so what I was talking about was our, our startup. So we've been over one year now. Uh, last June was our, our startup, and it was uh, just me, one other guy, and four walls. And so um, what Trey did by walking in the dark is, you know, he, when he came in, we didn't even have a conference table, <laughs> all right? So it was all vision, you know, and so Trey was able to take a, a walk in the dark, having faith in himself and, and the vision of what we were trying to create with our culture and, and helping people in this. And so what I was mentioning is, is one thing, and Trey's learning this too, is that as leaders, not only were we asking somebody to go somewhere they've never been but we're also asking them to go somewhere we've never been and it takes tremendous faith for the leaders and followers to do that and you know you talk about the higher purpose it it really to me comes down to to, to vision uh, where are you going do you know where you want to go do you have that um, and that's one of the biggest things between just existing and having a purpose there's a lot of people I feel just kind of exist uh, but they don't have the direction that they need. And that's one of the things that we try to create in our culture is give people direction, kind of find out what that is, because it's different for everybody. You know, I agree. I, I said a while back that many people don't tap into uh, their purpose um, until later on in life. Age doesn't define maturity. Um, but when you tap into it, when you literally come into the very thing that makes you, brings you joy, it, it, it fuels your... Uh, or it makes your heart sing. It's the very thing that wakes you up in the morning and kiss you good night. Um, that is the thing that you're called to do. The other thing is when you do what it is that you're called to do, um, you take on not only ownership, 
but you take on not only the servitude or the servanthood that should be with the corporation or the business that you're establishing, but your overall concept would, should be other people. And that's the thing that I love about your brand is that you're about serving others. And that, that should be the goal whenever we establish business, becoming entrepreneurs, is how can, and, and we made mention of this, the end result, we get in business for the money. But if the money becomes the motivation that drives you versus the relationship that accompanies the money, then you've lost sight of why you've established or gotten into business. And so to hear you say that this, you know, you all took this leap of faith, you, you chose to walk in darkness. And, and, and I love the whole concept of just moving in an area that you know not of, that you're not familiar with. And in doing that, we're seeing the fruit and the results of it. And the key thing is that your seed determines your harvest. I applaud you, um, Scott, for starting and stepping out. Um, we have to learn how to thank God for the women that God puts around us or for your wife, um, you know, spying out the land, trying it first and then introducing and you've just run with you've just ran with it and you've brought others on. And so with Trey being in Biz Connect and, and, and when, I, when I say this group of people have the heart of community how how can we serve one another how can we network to the degree that not just not just my business thrives but your business thrives and yeah. and, and and we are we celebrate each other and that's the thing that I love about the group uh, and then we also have those who are in you know in the leadership place um, you know from Christian to Nick holding everybody accountable and yeah. so that accountability is key as well so what is the accountability that you all have towards each other? I think your word is your bond. That's the first thing I I just definitely say. Um, when I say I'm going to do something and I'm going to tell Scott, speak that out, I'm going to push myself to the hardest to own up to that. Because nowadays, you know, people just say things and they don't really have any footing behind it mm -hmm. uh, and movement behind it. So I can say, you know what, I'm going to wake up today. And I'm going to talk to 20, 30 businesses. If I don't physically get up and put motion behind that, mm -hmm. then it's just words. Um, so that, that accountability is, is there. Um, but then it's also the community part that you were talking about. Uh, I know if I don't do my part, then Scott's not going to see that fruit as well. So I don't want to let him down and the other people that are in our agency that have stepped out, out of, you know, out of darkness and saying, you know what, I'm going to walk with you. But as a leader, you have to be able to show that example first and foremost. Yeah, I love that question, actually, accountability. Because I'll, I'll say this, how I help hold people accountable is I, I find out what their path is. What do you want to accomplish with this? And, and like we spoke about, not just money, that's the result of what we do. That's not why what we do. And so when it is something, maybe financial freedom, you know, helping their family, I find that why out and then hold them accountable to their success for that. You know, remind them, hey, look, this is why we're struggling. This is why we have to go through this. This is why we're doing this hard work so that you can be, you know, financially free, make sure your, your kids go to college, whatever that, that, that goal is. But I think a lot of that is finding out and then asking the people, you know, would you ever be upset if I hold you accountable for your success? And, and sometimes we all need that. I need accountability. And Trey likes to hit the gym. Sometimes an accountability <laughs> partner makes the, makes the difference, right? They hate, they hate when I, I send out those 3, 3 a.m. messages. Just Listen, like, just oh. don't, don't, don't ever send me one. Um, here, here's the thing, because I made mention, and, and I love the fact that you all do have the relationship that you have and the rapport and, and being at a, uh, a, a mature place by which you're able to not only serve each other, mm -hmm. but aid one another and then hold each other accountable. My accountability team is, you know, the whole staff here. Um, when I talked about your, your success being tied to those that you have around you and your mm -hmm. daily routine, um, my success, you know, people see me here, but my success is those who you hear clicking in the background, yep. Ivan and, and Carlos, and, and then the people that fuel and push and motivate all, you know, and you got to have that as a, as a group, as a collective unit. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think when we consider someone else's experiences, and, and that's what you made mention of, your experiences, not only your experiences um, becomes someone else's liberty and freedom but it also becomes their wealth it becomes their wisdom and so when you all have what you all have done is set a blueprint for others to follow mm -hmm. that you connect with someone that may not see the big picture as of yet but as long as you paint the picture mm -hmm. you got to show them that it exists 
and there's a road to getting there and there's a process but the key thing is being able to tr trust the support system mm -hmm. that you have around you and allowing uh, what fuels you what 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 pushes you and what motivates you that makes you get up in the morning and so I'm glad to be a part and being able to not only um, highlight big big agency but the group that I met you all in and I have to do that because God uses vehicles and he uses people to connect so yep. that we can get to the next you know level or next plateau in life and so I've been saying this for a while that God is bringing people out of hiding gems that people have never heard of and I want to say that that's your business that you are going to be able to do the big things um, because you've connected to big people and what I mean by big people it don't have to be big names it can just be people that have big ideas that have big vision as well as they're unselfishly willing to share and so I'm glad to have connected with Biz Connect um, Chris, uh, Kristen Waldo, um, Nick Mitchell, connecting with you all, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming out of the not only this connection but the networking and the overall experience of introducing your brand and your product. I want to give you the opportunity to go ahead and share your information, Facebook, Instagram, anything you all want to highlight, phone numbers, how can they get in contact with you, and then after this show, I'm going to talk to you about giving me that check. So I did all this stuff just to get you to <laughs> give me a check. I said all this nice stuff for the check, so go ahead. All right. So uh, definitely, we are the big agency of Liberty National. So what we do is we are providing worksite benefits for those that are in need. Because um, you'd be very amazed at businesses that do not have benefits um, at their job place. So what we do is we go out, we provide some at no cost for the business, and it helps them save payroll tax for uh, the employer. So a little bit more, Scott, you can kind of elaborate. Yeah, hey. Check us out on the web, Big Agency TX. That'll be a little bit about uh, what we do, our vision and values, and you know what we're trying to create. Uh, we're on Facebook too, um, Big Agency of Liberty National. Uh, there's many different ways to contact us, but uh, we'd love to hear from you. Honestly, um, you know we used to do some Facebook Live videos. We might get back into those, um, but yeah, reach out to us. Take advantage of every opportunity that presents itself that may lead you into the very thing that creates the wealth for you. So I applaud you all for stepping out, walking, choosing to walk into darkness, even coming on KNLY 91.1 The Boss, being a part and allowing us to highlight um, big agency. Once again, I'm Orlando Daniels with KNLY 91.1 The Boss. Look forward to sharing with you on tomorrow. You all be blessed. Enjoy the remaining part of your day and be successful in all that you do. Be blessed. All right. Thank, Thank you. you.